Hey guys, it's been a while since I recorded a makeup tutorial, so I thought what better way to get back into the swing of makeup tutorials than with a tutorial from the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I've had this palette for a while, but they just did a restock. It was sold out for a couple months there. So if you're interested in picking up this palette and you want to see one of my go-to looks using the palette, then just keep watching. I've already primed and set my lids with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. Moving on to the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. It's so beautiful. I don't really know where to start. There's so many different looks you could do with this palette. Maybe I'll have to do a couple videos. I'm gonna start with this light pink shade right here. The palette did come with this clear thing that has the names of the shades on it, but I found that to be really annoying, so I just ripped it out, and I'm just gonna be telling you a vague description of the colors and pointing to them. Back to the light pink shade. I'm gonna take that and sweep that as my transition shade, just kind of under the brow bone. One of my favorite things about the Natasha Denona eyeshadows is that they're super easy to blend. So I think I'm gonna go for kind of an orangey, smoky eye, which is sort of the obvious choice with these colors in this palette. Uh, next, I'm gonna take this rusty brown shade up here, which actually comes off as pretty bright orange when you apply it. And I'm gonna sweep that all over the crease, kind of blending just beneath where I applied the pink shade. And these shadows are super pigmented, so you really don't need a lot to get that bright orange shade. To deepen it up, I'm going to go in with this warm brown shade over here. This color actually has a slight shimmer to it, kind of like a sheen. So I'm taking that on a slightly smaller brush and just kind of focusing that on the outer corner. So I think that's kind of not really as dark as I wanted this shade to be. Although it definitely intensifies the orange. I'm going to blend that out. So now I'm going to go into this brown over here. This one is definitely a matte shade. It's a little bit of a deeper brown than the kind of orangey sheen color. So I'm gonna use that to darken the area in the outer corner of the eye, and yes, that's working a little better. This has definitely been one of my go-to looks with the Sunset Palette, kind of like an orange, smoky eye. If you watched any of my Ireland vlogs and you saw the orange eyeshadow I was wearing, it was from the Natasha Denona palette. So I'm just going in and doing the same thing on the other side, deepening the color on the outer V and kind of blending it up. And then for the area of the eye that I've left sort of blank, which is, go away spot of sun, let me fix that. So yes, for the blank area of the lid that is still left without color, I'm gonna use this really sparkly, beautiful gold shade right here. And I'm gonna apply that just to the center of the lid. And then drag it into the corner, inner corner. I think I want more of an intense glitter, so I'm actually going to, you can see in the pan it's so glittery, it's actually kind of a little powdery, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but just happens when it's an intensely glittery eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take some of that on my brush and then I'm gonna spritz it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna apply that to the same area as I did before. And now you can see it's like a beautiful foiled gold paint almost. Wow. So it's definitely a little harder to blend when you add the moisture to it. 
So I'm just going to kind of blend it out to the edges so there isn't as harsh of a line there. And then if I need to, I'm going to go back in with the brown shade here on a smaller brush and just kind of blend that into the gold so it's more of like a seamless blend. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to a winged liner. I'm using the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. This is my first time using this, very excited. Kind of interesting, it comes with two sides. One has like a tiny little felt tip. And the other is like a brush pen tip side, which I tend to prefer. So we'll give that a whirl. It's also like really long. So far, so good. It's a little hard to apply liner over that glittery shadow because it's kind of chunky, but it's getting the job done. Wow, okay, I think I love this eyeliner pen. All right, and now for the lower lash line. For this, I'm gonna take that second orangey brown shade that we used right here and apply that to my Smith 220 brush and just kind of sweep that all over the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna kind of clean up any parts that went too far down with my beauty blender. Now I'm gonna go in with this darker brown over here that we were using on a smaller, this is a Hakuhodo brush, and just kind of focus that darker color on the outer corner. Blending into the orangey shade. And I do kinda of wanna clean up with just a clean blending brush that line so there's no harshness and it's all nicely blended. And now I'm gonna finish off by taking this white color here. It's kind of like a frosty white with a little bit of glitter in it. And I'm gonna take that and put it on the inner corners just to add like a pop of brightness. And then I'm gonna sweep that a tiny bit below the tear duct there as well. And then I'm also gonna take some of that white and put it just below the brow bone. Ooh, you can see there how it has that little slight shimmer to it. It's really nice for a brow bone highlight. And I'm gonna quickly just blend that with a fluffy brush. Make sure everything looks good. Okay, moving on to mascara. My favorite mascara right now is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. A nice drugstore favorite in contrast to the ridiculously expensive Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. Sorry. And then for the bottom lashes, I'm using my Pixi Lower Lash Mascara in black. I love this tiny little wand for the lower lashes. Now, normally I would add lashes at this stage, but I'm actually kind of liking this weird, clumpy lash look I have going on. And without the lashes added, you can kind of see through to the lid more of the detail of the eye look. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I am going to add a lip though. I'm gonna use the Clinique Chubby Stick in Curviest Caramel. All right, and that is a finished look. I hope you enjoyed this eyeshadow tutorial. Let me know if you want to see any other looks from this palette. There's so many different combinations, so many experiments to be had. Leave me a comment down below telling me what you want to see next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.